how to do what you want. Welcome to the video where I'll try to explore the path to achieving what you truly desire in life. Many of us find ourselves trapped in unfulfilling jobs or circumstances reluctantly settling for less than what we truly want. You might encounter the same issue as I did, having to accept a low paying job that you don't like, just so you could pay for bills. And now you're stuck in this box where you are not getting what you would like from life, but you're also not not leaving the current situation because what is in the box is better than nothing, which is what you will be left with if you leave the box. Or so we think. Because there is a way out, I'm here to share my journey and insights with you as I strive to create my own world and connect with like-minded individuals. My formula for success can be summarized in four steps. Success, experience, failure, action. If you want to succeed, you have to have experience. If you want to be experienced, you have to fail. To fail, you have to do. And to do, you have to get your ass on the couch. Success begins with gaining experience. To excel in any field, you need hands-on knowledge and practical skills. Embrace failure as a valuable teacher. It is through our failures that we learn, grow and improve. Don't be afraid to take risks and learn from your mistakes. Action is the key to progress. Without taking initiative and putting in the necessary effort, our dreams will remain distant fantasies. Get off that couch and start taking steps towards your goals. Building discipline is crucial. The path to achieving what you want requires perseverance and dedication even when faced with challenges. Remember, you're doing it for yourself. I managed to get my ass off the couch and I'm now in the phase of doing and failing. Oh, have I failed <laughs> and still am to this day. I will most likely fail at writing a good newsletter or record a good video, but that won't stop me. I will keep releasing bad content until I start releasing good content, which will turn into great content. But for that, I have to keep going. Okay, let's talk about action. Getting your ass off the couch. I was once an avid gamer and a trophy hunter who spent majority of my time sitting on a sofa watching at a screen. Yes, it felt amazing to check off those in-game achievements and forget about my responsibilities. Yes, I loved it. Yes, I miss it. But I would never go back to that level of ignorance and mistreating myself. Since then, I have sold my PlayStation and started exercising. I basically exchanged my distraction to start an action. Failure. Just do it. And I hope Nike doesn't sue me over using those three words in that particular order, but how would they even know? And this video will be viewed by three people, of which one will be me, so... Nothing deliberate will come your way by accident. If you don't choose your own destiny, you will be assigned one. You want to get experienced in something? You have to do it over and over and over again, and you have to suck. Yes, you have to suck, and you will suck hard. Here, when it comes to experience, failure is a, your best teacher. I studied music at a uni where teachers taught me to be excellent at what I do, and so I became one of the best players. What they grossly failed to teach me is what is actually valuable, how to earn money from it, how to use my now excellent skills in the real world. Instead, they showed me three options. One was to become a soloist by winning competitions, or get a job in an orchestra, or become a teacher. I was told that I have to be really good at playing my instrument to get those jobs. But then I was seeing people with lower skills than mine getting all of those positions. What teachers fail to tell me is that for all of them, you need a strong network and background that will support your main skill. When it comes to success, build a portfolio of skills. You need a lot of skills. Having only one skill effectively makes you a robot that has to be part of a much bigger machine like a company to be of any use. Leveraging a big set of skills to create your own business is freeing both mentally and financially. I can attest to mental freedom with the great confidence. I feel so good having a vibrant dynamic to my days and how I decide to spend them. I have a possibility to putting in the hour 
towards towards my own beliefs and not someone else's. Financial freedom might be a roadblock for many of us, myself included. However, I firmly believe in my ability to overcome it and I continue to work towards that goal. You see, over time, we forget how good it is to work towards your own achievements and it is ridiculously good to the point that once you get a taste of it even just a small taste you will not want to go back to do what you want however you have to build the discipline to do what's hard but even that is easier when you know you do it for yourself